Today, there was the Diablo 4 developer live stream. This is the second one, I believe. And I'm just going to summarize it for you. So they pretty much started off with the Diablo 4 trailer. And then we jumped into beta information. So there's going to be two betas. The first beta is the early access beta. So if you pre-order the game, um, any of them, uh, you get access to the early access beta. And that actually starts from March 17th, 9 a.m., to March 20th at noon. And this one, you only have access to three classes, the Barb, the Barbarian, the Sorcerer, the Rogue. And then the second beta, there you get access to all five classes. And this is gonna be open to anyone. You don't need to pre-order the game. And that starts on March 24th at 9 a.m., which is the same time, to March 27th at noon, which is the same time. They mentioned the world boss and there's going to be one world boss that's going to spawn during the beta and it's going to spawn during the Saturdays of the beta in four different times. Times haven't been announced yet, so gather your friends. But 12 players can only be at the world boss at a time. I'm assuming that's like because the, the map limit, they're just going to limit 12 players there. I don't know because it's probably a world boss, right? But anyways, party has a maximum of four, so it's going to be three parties of four. And the boss will be level 25. And the level cap for the beta is level 25. So you probably want to be around there before tackling the boss. And then they showed off the minimum and recommended specs for the PC. I have a link for the blog that has the whole list. You can check it down below in the description. And the preload for the beta will be out a week about a week before the beta launches. PlayStation and Xbox players will have couch co-op available to them. Only one person need access to the beta, but both players need Battle.net accounts. So there's also 10 characters slots for the beta and the beta carries from beta to beta, but not beta to launch. So after March 27, the account's gonna be wiped. So use that time to figure out what class you wanna use, get familiar with it, and make sure at least get one character in the beta to level 20. So then you actually get the beta reward that carry into the main game. So there's three rewards. So the first one is the initial casual, casualty title, which is earned for reaching the, the snowy mountain capital city of the area. I think that's after you just complete the prologue. So that you can get that pretty easily. And then once you get level 20 with one character, you get the early Voyager title. And then also at level 20, just do that with any character, right? You also get the Beta Wolf Pack cosmetic item, which is very nice. It looks great. So it's pretty much like a backpack. And then you can see the wolf in there and it kind of moves and animated. <laughs> armor discussion is up next. So they have the simple guideline number called Armor Power for Armor, which is they design to the armor to show how good it is. Obviously, it's a guideline because it varies between builds. And previously, armor has damage mitigation for just physical damage. But now, it also takes half of that as mitigation for all non-physical damage, like poison, shadow, fire, etc. And as you get higher and higher in the levels, each unit of armor contributes less towards the damage reduction. And just like the old games, as you go up world tiers, there'll be penalty for players' resistance. They mentioned from world two to three is about like 20% penalty. There are other ways to get elemental resistances and armor as you get stronger from other systems like skill trees, a paragon system, etc. And before they scale the monsters only by increasing their hit points. And then the numbers will get huge and players will come talk about it and complain about it. Now they have monsters that also have armor. So then the damage will be uh, strength, shrunken, I guess. So then it won't take up the screen because now I think they have numbered counters that pop up as you're dealing damage. And strongholds also exist in this world where areas are filled with evil and like evil just roaming around. But you can conquer the area to unlock the area. And the stronghold are instant base and once you cleanse them the stronghold become like public domain or public base like you can see other players so after you clear it will become some of them will become towns some of them become like shortcuts waypoints new dungeons or even side quests but they will 
then you can share the space with other people that are like not in your party or whatever. Um, and by the way, dungeons are also instant space. They mentioned the renown system. So you get rewards for hitting renown milestones and stronghold is one of the ways to get those renown points. I'm assuming they're points. And next is the Q and A session. So in summary, I'm just going to like quickly just go over it after the beta, they're going to go over the end game systems and progression. And in terms of players that you see around the world, they want it to feel like Diablo or like more Diablo, they want to feel as crowded, right? So they limit the amount of people depending on where you are. So if you find like the world bosses, I'm assuming that map, you see more people than you were to see in like the wastelands and in town, you probably see everyone. Then they also mentioned about beta, right? You can stream it. There's like no NDA or anything. So I will be streaming it myself on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Vincente, same name as on here. And I'll be streaming on both weekends, so feel free to tune in. They mentioned the ultra wide support. There is the controller support as well for PC. Uh, the WASD movement won't be there at launch, but they're like thinking about it. Uh, they'll go over accessibility options later. So uh, keep an eye on that. And then during launch, seasons, the seasons won't actually start. So the first season of Diablo 4 is going to start sometime after launch. And then I guess as we get closer, they're going to give us more information on it. And there won't also be rune words. They will not be at launch. They're still working on the system to make it work right in Diablo 4. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that summary. And uh, hopefully see you guys in Sanctuary. Yeah, later days.